Growing up with muscular dystrophy, I see no difference pretty much. My friends don't see any difference. Later on, when I start to really look into the mirror and I like, what? Well, wait, hold up. Am I that different? People started to like not interact with me and I wouldn't interact with them so much because I know how different I was. Before wheelchair rugby, I did wheelchair racing, but nothing is like wheelchair rugby, you know. You gotta act together, think together. I like to interact. When I first jumped into wheelchair rugby, I feel like I could take over the world. Wheelchair rugby by nature itself is brutal. Sometimes you dent your wheel, sometimes you bend your axle, you get bruises. When people first watch the sport, they are pretty amazed at how intense the game can get. How could one throw a ball? with no fingers and how one could catch a ball with no legs. Defense come in. Some of the lessons that wheelchair rugby has taught me is if you gotta pass the ball, pass the ball. You cannot be selfish. That applies in life too. When you have your country's flag on your chest, that's a huge responsibility. The journey with my teammates has been incredible. One day I might just sit down and tell my grandkids about it and he wish he'd be on a wheelchair. I'm Daniel Bowden, and I'm a wheelchair rugby player. <laughs>